How many classical and flamenco guitar stores are there in Japan? Back in 2008, I was in my fourth year. I guess I had been studying Japanese about four years and four months. And I had a uh, Guitar Dream magazine published by Jun Sugawara, who passed away in 2009. Uh, he visited my shop in 2008 with Yuichi, my great guitar maker in Japan. And I read while reading it in Japanese it, that there were over 60 guitar stores in Japan that cater to classical and flamenco guitars. There were at least eight in Tokyo and they've had guitar magazines out since the 20s. You had Harmonia magazine uh, that was published in Sendai which took the brunt of the tsunami in 2011 and I happen to be translating that particular week. Uh, I was about a seventh year student I guess and uh, the day after the tsunami I said oh where was this book published I had 1930s and 1950s uh, Harmonia magazines, it means harmony in Japanese. And uh, I said, oh, this was the city we saw with the uh, truck going up to the crossroads and it got washed by a uh, wave, a tsunami wave. You have magazines like Gendai Guitar Magazine. This issue came out a year ago, July. This has a review of my book in it. Annotations for the History of the Classical Guitar in Argentina, 1822 to 2000. 2% of my book is images in Japanese that are translated into English. I also translated mostly Spanish, but French, Italian, Portuguese, Catalan dialect, uh, Barcelona, Catalonia, and very little German. But I translated a lot of Japanese because I had access to the magazines and books that were printed about, you have pictures here, Maria Luisa Nito, the Miguel Yobet student. And here we see photos of her on TV, along with um, Shinogora. Shinogora met with Segovia in 1929 when he played there. Segovia played in uh, Tokyo, and he played in Osaka. He used a Hauser I guitar in uh, the first week of November. Uh, that's mentioned in my book with the translation. Uh, about it. We see guitar records that were carried here. These were published about 1939. And the two images I have here are of uh, Augustine Barrios playing Capriccio Arab by Tarraga and Miguel Yobet, uh, El Testament de Emilia, very well known song in his repertoire. Magazine was first published, Gendai Guitar Magazine was first published in 1967 and it's still a vibrant uh, part of uh, Japanese culture. It said there are over a, th a million people that play classical guitar in Japan. You have 128 million people in Japan, the lowest uh, amount of people in prisons. 58,000 people in Japanese prisons out of a country of 128 million. We have three times that population in the state of California with only 40 million people here. When the tsunami happened, um, Japanese people uh, after the tsunami was over, they would bring a safe that they found that got disgorged away from the house where it was once a part of. They would bring it to the police and Later, it was found out that there was three quarters of a million dollars in cash in that safe. Japanese people did not steal anything from anybody after the tsunami. 
very different things go on here. We had an earthquake in 1989. You had uh, people trying to leave the Golden Gate Park that were uh, dealing with armed robbers. Just trying to drive away from Candlestick Park. Let me show you some other photos here. Here's a photo of my book. Weighs 21 pounds, four volumes, 2,630 pages with a seven page, 77 page index. Sells for $300 shipping worldwide. If we look at some of the interior pages, we see advertisements for strings, guitars, Guitar makers, Sakurai, bios on players, here's a BMG magazine stands for banjo, mandolin, guitar. I have a large collection of this stuff myself from 1936 to 1972. About 31 out of 40 years uh, complete. And here's an article from June of 1947 with Vicente Gomez. He uh, appeared in uh, Blood and Sand with Tyrone Power. And in my book, I have a program from 1938, one of the first programs that he did in New York after he came here from Spain. So they cover everything. Here's other stuff about, uh, and this is from the Serenader magazine with Vada Alcott Bickford. Here's the uh, editor's page, BMG, November 1947. This is connected um, through the collection that they have at Gendai Guitar Magazine. If you're somebody who can do a lot of historical lectures, uh, like myself, uh, you could go to Japan and you could go to every classical guitar society in the small towns and cities and you could tour for about three months. Uh, Japan has over 60 classical guitar stores. I would tend to think that there are more stores in Japan than any other place in the world combined. We have maybe 15 in the United States, what, 15 in Europe? something like that, a few in China, etc.